Get ready to dive into the wild world of Lobo, the cosmic bounty hunter from DC Comics who's been itching for his own big screen debut. With the DC Extended Universe gearing up for some epic action, fans are buzzing about which iconic characters might steal the spotlight. We've got the classics like Superman, the Joker, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Harley Quinn, and of course, Batman. But don't overlook the underdog, or should I say under alien, Lobo. This intergalactic tough guy from the planet Sarnia brings a whole lot of chaos and a constantly changing sense of style to the table. So let's unravel the enigma that is Lobo, the colorful anti-hero making waves in both comics and TV. Let's take a quick trip down comic book memory lane with our main man Lobo. Picture this, the 1980s, where Lobo burst onto the DC scene as a not-so-friendly extraterrestrial rocking purple hair, creepy red eyes, and a snug purple and orange leotard. Talk about a bold fashion statement. But hold on, because Lobo's style and vibe weren't set in stone. Fast forward to the 90s, and DC decided to give our alien anti-hero a serious makeover. Out went the leotard, in came a more muscular Lobo with dreadlocks, decked out in biker gear, ready to kick butt and take names in his own gritty bounty hunting series. Now here's the fun part. Lobo wasn't just a random tough guy. He was DC's cheeky response to Marvel's darker characters like Punisher and Wolverine. Initially a parody, Lobo quickly won over 90s comic fans who embraced the edgy and rebellious spirit of this revamped intergalactic bad boy. Talk about a character evolution, huh? Now, buckle up for the roller coaster that is Lobo's style evolution. Once hailed as the king of the 90s with his biker chic, Lobo decided to play a little wardrobe roulette. From pirate threads to bishop robes and a wild untamed mane to a slick pompadour, this guy's fashion choices are as unpredictable as his bounty hunts. But it's not just about the outfits. Lobo's powers are on a cosmic seesaw too. One day, he's cloning himself like there's no tomorrow. And the next, he's rocking a super sniffer that could rival any space bloodhound, helping him track down bounties across the galaxies. Talk about a versatile skill set. In the crazy universe of comic books, Lobo's been a wild card, sometimes duking it out against DC superheroes and other times teaming up with them. Trying to nail down exactly who Lobo is might feel like chasing a shooting star but amidst all the chaos, there are a few things that stay constant in Lobo's ever-shifting saga. Now, let's dig into the core of who Lobo truly is, the guy with a background that's as solid as it gets. Lobo, the Sarnian bad boy, is straight out of the alien planet Sarnia. This is where the magic happens, or should I say, the insane strength that lets him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman, even without the crutch of kryptonite. But that's just the tip of the iceberg in Lobo's power-packed arsenal. Brace yourself for a laundry list, super speed that could leave the Flash in the dust, regeneration skills that practically make him immortal, the ability to spot rivals' weak spots with just a glance, a nose that's more powerful than a bloodhound's, a brain that's practically genius level, and, wait for it, once upon a time the power to clone himself from a single drop of blood. Yep. Lobo had some serious tricks up his sleeve. Now, the whole cloning thing took a bit of a backseat after Legion, but guess what? It made a comeback in the animated series Young Justice, where tiny Lobo clones sprouted like cosmic daisies from droplets of his spilled blood. Just when you thought you had Lobo figured out, he throws in a curveball, or in this case, tiny blood-borne duplicates. Many of these abilities are believed to be possessed by fellow inhabitants of Sarnia, and despite the remarkable strengths of its people, Sarnia was previously a peaceful and stable utopia. However, this tranquility came to an end when Lobo unleashed a deadly plague of mutant scorpions, wiping out all residents of his homeworld. Throughout most of his comic book storyline, Lobo refers to himself as the last Sarnian, though there is a possibility that someone else managed to escape his brutal destruction. Putting aside comic book spoilers, Sarnia is not only the victim of Lobo's impulsive fury, as there are rumors that he once obliterated an entire planet because they failed to provide him with a suitable cigar. Despite the misleading resemblance to the Spanish word Lobo, meaning wolf, in the Sarnian language, Lobo translates to 
he who devours your entrails and thoroughly enjoys it. Lobo, a character notorious for his heartlessness and self-indulgence within the DC Universe, typically falls into the category of villains. In a Christmas comic special, he even goes so far as to decapitate a darker version of Santa Claus, emphasizing his brutal nature. Despite these ruthless actions, writers have endowed him with certain characteristics that temper his merciless demeanor. Operating as a bounty hunter, Lobo strictly adheres to the principle that once he gives his word, he will fulfill his commitment regardless of the consequences. This code has occasionally led him to align with justice, even fighting alongside past rivals. As a hired hand from Sarnia, he consistently chooses the side that offers the highest payment, allowing him to occasionally assume the role of a hero. Interestingly, Lobo harbors a significant affection for space dolphins, going to great lengths to protect and feed them. In the comic world, his sole affections are reserved for cigars and these elegant creatures that inhabit the vastness of space. This unique focus spares him from the often repeated trope of superheroes entangled in romantic interests. Despite his inclination toward a solitary lifestyle, Lobo manages to form a few enduring friendships along his journey, contributing to the intricate duality of hardness and softness that coexists within his complex identity. Beyond the comics, Lobo stands out as one of DC's most revered characters among comic book enthusiasts, yet his presence beyond the illustrated page has been relatively limited. Despite a substantial fan base that even includes the late Marvel icon Stan Lee, it's surprising that Lobo hasn't made his mark in a feature film. While he has made appearances in a few DC animated series like Superman the Animated Series, Young Justice, and Justice League Action, as well as having his own short-lived series titled Lobo, these ventures have largely faded into obscurity. In these animated shows, Lobo is often portrayed as a whimsical adversary, serving as a quirky obstacle for the main superhero of the week, without delving much deeper into the character's rich complexity. Lobo's sole live-action appearance with widespread release occurred in the second season of Sci-Fi's Krypton, where the character, portrayed by Emmett J. Scanlon, played a secondary villain role in a four-episode arc. Although somewhat detached from the central conflict of the series, Sci-Fi recognized the potential to expand the character's presence for eager fans. This led to plans for a spin-off centered around Lobo, but unfortunately, these intentions were thwarted when Sci-Fi decided to cancel Krypton in 2019. This turn of events echoed the pattern seen with Warner Brothers' consistent announcements regarding a Lobo feature film, only to be followed by prolonged periods of inactivity and uncertainty. The anticipation for a live-action Lobo feature film has been ongoing since 2009, when Warner Brothers initially announced that Guy Ritchie would direct a movie featuring the gritty anti-hero. However, Ritchie later departed the project to work on a sequel to Sherlock Holmes. Over the following decade, the directorial responsibilities shifted from Brad Payton to Jason Fuchs and eventually landed in the hands of Michael Bay. Despite notable talents like Dwayne The Rock Johnson being attached to Payton's version and substantial progress in pre-production and screenplay development, each stage of this Lobo project concluded with the film being put on hold. Despite a decade of expectations, a live-action Lobo feature film is yet to materialize. The current buzz surrounding the character suggests that Lobo might be on the verge of making his long-awaited debut on the big screen with the new DCEU. As an immortal rogue, time is one thing Lobo has in abundance. While the wait has been prolonged, there is a sense of confidence that the godlike bounty hunter will eventually accomplish the feat of gracing theaters. Only time will reveal the fate of Lobo's cinematic journey. That concludes our update for now. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for further updates. Share your thoughts with us. Until next time, see ya!